Rock Snacks is a rare kind of game. It's the kind of game that you could equate to any kind of drug trip possible. The reason why is because I don't think there is a drug going that you can do that the developers of this game haven't done themselves. Bug snack! Let's give it a go, shall we, gamers? As you can see, I've turned the FOV up to magnificent because... Why would I keep that shit on low? It needs to be the biggest thing possible so we can enjoy bug snacks in all of its glory. I'm looking at a big map, and I love looking at a big map. Why? Because it's a big map, and oh no. I don't quite understand how that caused me to fall off of that thing, but it just did. We're now on the ground, and I can look around, and I've- Oh wow, look at my massive belly. Look at the size of my belly. I need to stop eating doner kebabs and drinking desperados. That's exactly what's causing this problem. To the bridge! Ah, bugger. Oh god. We're fine, don't worry about it. This is not the bridge of safety anymore. Well, I guess we're going forward, not backwards. There appears to be some rummaging in the bushes, and I have a camera. I can scan things. Oh, it's a hiding bush. Top five hiding bushes in bug snacks. It's a really odd hide. I don't feel particularly hidden. Can I use this ladder? Is that a flying pizza? Ah. I hit my head on the rock on the way down. Greetings. I am Lisbeth Megafee. At least we know that Australia exists in this bookie reality. I honestly don't have any words that can describe the experience I'm having with this game. Look at the enthusiasm with which that fence is being varnished. The man's even got a gurn. Granted, it would help if I knew what kind of creature he's supposed to be. But my guy's gurning. Don't get any closer, please just stay there. See, clumby clumber nut. Is that meant to be a tongue twister because I get the vibe that if I slip up I might say something that offends people? I guess we'll sit here in silence until I decide to speak to you, right? I'm always watching you, Mike Wazowski. When you bash your table, everything jumps. Why don't you believe in bug snacks? Oh my god, are bug snacks like the Bigfoot of this world? That's what people say about Bigfoot as well. Has anyone ever had a dream about a talking dog? Because this is sort of verging on what that dream is like. Present day. Oh my god, is this Assassin's Creed? My arms are in a weird position. Was that a strawberry running away? There's a man out here and he doesn't look to be in a great shape. Philbo Baggins. You're a long way from Bag End. Let's cheer him up. Oh yeah, this is child friendly. Just taking the scenery. Don't mind what's going on down here. If I look at the shadow, it looks even weirder. I look like an Ewok taking a shit. And well, now I certainly do. Why did you betray me? Lisbert? Is that you? Do I look like a Lisbert? Scan the bug snack. That thing is a bug snack, I guess. It's a strabby. Who could ever eat this thing? Who eats plastic googly eyes? And why? A very simple snack. Watch its walking pattern. Mm. It's just disturbing that it walks about. Right, let's let's trap the boy. Behind the rock. Activate it when the strabby comes out to say hello. Bam. Nice. Dinner. Pick it up it okay, now toss it into my mouth hole. That's a horrible sentence to say. I have two options with Phil though. I can talk to him or I can feed him. What the fuck? What happened to your arm? Oh my god. Lad, stop it. <laughs> Please. I promise, I just want to get... <laughs> this is terrifying. The motion blur makes it worse. And nauseating. And also, Philbo, please stop staring at me like that, son. He's staring at me still, and that's disturbing. It's like a flying pingu. Newt fucking newt. Come out and say hello, sir. Got it. Haha. -ha. You're right, lads. I've got you your snacks. Have all of them. Have the strabby, the rutal, the other rutal. He's turning into a fascinating looking man. This is my last chance to find a good story. If that's the case, I think I'm pretty much so out of luck. So you can still run even though you no longer have limbs. You just have fruit and vegetables. If Carrot Strawberry Man can do that, why can't I? Garden Grove. Hey, look at this man's hat! Isn't that snazzy? You're still alive? Thought you'd have starved to death by now. He seems polite. Nope. <laughs> I found a journalist. Now kindly leave. 
to take a ketchup for the road. Bunger, 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 bunger. Oh my god, he just got knocked out by a burger. This is weird. I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Take my sauce slinger. Sauce slinger? I've never wanted to take somebody's sauce slinger in my life. I need to get some sauces. Some ketchup. I can harvest ketchup and fling it at the burger. Oh my god, I've been launched into the stratosphere by a burger. <laughs> ketchup scarecrow! <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a burger called a bunger that just runs about and wants sauces? Since when did ketchup grow in bottles on plants? Wombus, you are a big man. Took care of that bunger. Thanks, stranger. It was a saucy bastard. You better go check on Philbo. Check on Philbo. You are right, lad? Are you all right, Philbo? What do I care? Don't go to sleep. You're probably concussed. Uh, uh, don't you worry. I'm a, I'm a little sore, but uh, I'll be a-okay. I'm just happy you're getting along with Wambus. He's having a hard time, and his wife isn't around much these days. I'm just trying to figure out why. I didn't mean for Philbo to get hurt like that. He's right, though. I'm in over my head. I didn't expect I'm this game no to have any deep character struggles. Die, Bunga! <laughs> I've bungered the Bunga. Do I have a health bar? We'll find out pretty quickly if I use the Bunga to bounce. It's a bouncy Bunga. I love how they're bouncy. What would happen if you bit into them? Would you, would you be, would your jawline be launched into the stratosphere? You right, Philbo? You're standing up again. Are you all right, lad? Oh, I can actually walk around with you like staring at me. Oh my god, now you're doing it. Stop this. Being stared at by two of them at the same time is terrifying. Now they're both doing it. Holy shit. This is terrifying. Why are they both doing this? Why are they staring at me in complete silence with unbreaking gazes? Right, I'm out of here. What are you? What are you, sir? A frider climbs onto high walls out of reach, but will come down if it smells ketchup. Done. I caught a frider, everybody. Feed one frider. How does one feed a frider? Let's eat. Have a frider. Oh god, you've got a chip hand. He's got a really aggressive face for what he's saying. It's just the staring from both of them that's horrifying. Can I trap a bunga? I can't trap a bunga. I need the bunga to come and catch me about here. Bunga, please. Bunga, please. Bunga, we're close. I can go down there. Ah, oh, I can't go down there. I can try, though. The game just won't let me go down here. Ancient murals? You mean that this society was smart enough to survive ancient dimes? Now that's just something I'm not willing to believe. Come on, Bunga. Nearly. Oh, I've done it, everybody. I've, I've cheesed it. Who are you? <laughs> You've got a red face. Don't mind me, I'm just a pervert here to watch you sleep. If it makes it any better, I don't know anyone alive who could be sexually attracted to these freaks. Befica's cave drawing. Befica has drawn this bug snack on the wall, surrounded by little hearts. She seems very taken with it. How did I even get up here? It's a bit of a shame, you know someone's not having a good time when you find solitaire. Do you have friends? Well, I shit on your pillow. Mmm, yeah. This is a comfy pillow to shit on. Maybe being in the trees is not a bad idea. Oh, that's how I get up here, is it? I go via the trees. Mmm, ketchups. Bunga. This is an actual game that exists. And I think it's made for kids, and yet it's baffling even me. You know what? I want to put this game forward as a candidate for game of the decade. Oh, he had an imaginary friend who is dead.